Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and this week we're going to be looking at Pilgrims, William Bradford, and the Mayflower. The Pilgrim Half Dollar was issued in 1920 and 1921. 300,000 were authorized to be minted and were sold by the Pilgrim Tercentenary Commission for $1. Although sales were initially good, over 100,000 coins were returned to the mint to be melted. Today, they can be found for between $50 and $150. The Pilgrims were a group of separatist Puritans who established the second permanent settlement in North America at Plymouth, Massachusetts. They were originally from England, but because they refused to attend the services of the Church of England, they faced persecution, fines, and execution. The group moved en masse to Holland to find relief, but found it difficult to adjust to the Dutch customs while preserving their own, and made plans to move to the New World in 1617. On the obverse of the coin is William Bradford. One of the passengers who traveled with the pilgrims when they departed in 1620. He escaped England at 18 to travel to the Netherlands to be with the other early pilgrims. There he established a successful life as a weaver, but ended up selling all of his property to sail to the Americas. After landing in Plymouth Harbor in present-day Massachusetts, Bradford worked with the other settlers to find a suitable location to establish themselves while spending the first winter living on the Mayflower. In April of 1621, the colony's first governor died and Bradford was elected to replace him. He would continue to serve as governor off and on for the next 35 years. His journal of Plymouth Plantation is the most detailed account of that period of colonial America, and he is considered by some to be the father of American history. The reverse of the coin features the Mayflower, the ship that carried the pilgrims to the New World. She was originally meant to sail with another ship, the Speedwell, but due to numerous leaks, it had to be left behind in England and sold. On its voyage to North America, the Mayflower was overloaded with 102 passengers and 30 crew members. It was the home for the settlers during the first winter in America, and where the Mayflower Compact, one of America's first legal documents, was signed. Both sides of the coin were sculpted by American artist Cyrus Edwin Dolan. His initial, often mistaken for the Denver Mint Mark, can be found below the bust of Bradford. Dolan's most recognized works are the statue of the Angel Moroni atop the Mormon Temple in Salt Lake City, and Appeal to the Great Spirit, part of a four-part series of equestrian statues featuring Native Americans. Some have suggested that the obverse of the coin was inspired by the Puritan, an 1887 work by one of Dolan's friends, Augustus St. Gaudens. The reverse of the coin has been the source of some controversy since it was issued in 1920. Nautical purists were upset that the Mayflower depicted had a triangular jib, or frontmost sail, a feature not found on ships of the early 17th century, and not found on the commemorative stamp issued for the anniversary designed by prolific stamp engraver Claire Aubrey Houston. Aside from this, his design for the Mayflower was highly praised. Dolan's only detractor was sculptor James Earl Fraser, a member of the Commission of Fine Arts and designer of the Buffalo Nickel, who deemed his lettering too crude. However, Boston librarian Horace L. Wheeler was quoted in the pages of the Numismatist in 1920 when he said it was lettered remarkably well. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching. What do you think of the lettering on the Pilgrim Half Dollar? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.